What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Also, Webull is still offering those five free stocks when you open up a new Webull brokerage account and put at least one penny in that account, Webull is gonna give you five free stocks valued up to $8,300. There's a link in the description box of this video. I want you guys to click on that link after you watch the video and man, go get those free stocks and go get that free money. Don't turn down an opportunity to get free money, guys, right? And then you can use that money to start building your wealth. Well, in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about missed opportunities. So in 2021, there were a couple of missed opportunities that I just didn't act on. You know, I, I, I talk a lot about taking action and, 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 and chasing, you know, your greatness. And even me, you know, even I sometimes am dropping the ball. And one of those things I dropped the ball on was Tesla. So I had been considering purchasing Tesla for about a, I don't, over a year. That was an opportunity, man. I could have made a lot of money because had I invested in Tesla at the beginning of 2020, when I started thinking about it around the time when the pandemic happened, I would have, I would have done very well. And that's a missed opportunity, man. So uh, I, I regret that. But, you know, I still think there's an opportunity to um, uh, make a play on Tesla. I, I still think there will be future stock splits when it comes to Tesla's stock. Right. Um, I don't know if it'll be 2022, 2023, but I think there's an opportunity for me to get back in the game. So. Uh, although I missed that original opportunity that I should have taken, but I, I, again, guys, I, even me, I just didn't take action. Right. I allowed my fear, uh, to creep in and my fear sort of, uh, you know, made me hesitant and, and, and I doubted myself and I doubt it. Should I, should I buy it? And, and I should have, I would have been, wow, man, it would have been crazy. Right. I would have probably quadrupled my money by this time you know, a year later or so, I would have quadrupled my money from that five to one stock split. So that was my biggest failure in 2021. The second failure and, and, and something that I dropped the ball on was real estate, right? So earlier this year, you know, at the beginning of 2021, before things started just exploding in real estate, I had an opportunity to, 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 to buy a couple of properties. And um, for some reason, I, I hesitated on it, right? I, I, I felt as though real estate, you know, would, would probably experience a downturn. And, and the reason I thought that is, is because watching too much news, just like many of you, I, you know, watching too much news for your financial information that you're taking in to make financial decisions is probably not a really good idea. Um, and and I, I fell into that trap because I, I kept hearing everybody on the news saying, you know, something has to happen with all of these people's loans in forbearance. And, you know, you got all these renters out here that still can't pay the rent and all this kind of stuff. It's just a bunch of noise at the beginning of 2021. And I just said, you know something, right now ain't the right time to buy real estate. And man, could I kick myself right now? Because had I bought those properties, I probably would have been up about 30 to 35% from an appreciation standpoint, right? There was just, just craziness, right? So, so even me, even though I find myself telling you guys, you know, what you should be doing and what you should be considering. Sometimes even I fail to take my own advice. And, and that's really what I want to emphasize on this video today, guys, is 
is you, you, you can't delay taking action, right? If you feel good about an investment and you've done the homework on it and you, you feel like there's an opportunity to, to, to increase your net worth and to increase your, your cash flow, then man, take advantage of it. Don't miss on these opportunities that'll be presenting themselves in 2022 because there'll be a lot of them. Now, what I will tell you as it relates to, you know, the stock market, you know, there's a saying when you're getting ready to buy an investment, especially like crypto uh, or, or companies that are fast growing, it, it's always uh, this saying that I kind of think about. If you hear rumors about a company getting ready to take off or a cryptocurrency getting ready to take off, like a coin, a new coin getting ready to take off, then that's probably when you should be buying. If it, you start hearing about it in the news, then it's probably too late. You probably should be selling at that time. You should be buying on the rumor and you should be selling on the news, right? So when it gets to the news and the mainstream media picks up that particular investment, it's probably not a good idea to buy at that point. It's probably a good idea to be either holding your position or selling out of it and moving on and taking your profits. So make sure when you're thinking about investments, you understand where the information is coming from, right? You got to make sure you're not making decisions based on what somebody else has said. You should be going out and doing some, some homework yourself and making sure that it's the right investment for you, right? Uh, also, what you should be doing, I think, is setting some goals in, in 2022, right? You, you, you should be right now thinking about 2022 and thinking about, you know, what do I want to accomplish financially? You know, how much do I want to incre increase my net worth this year? You know, how, you know, how many additional streams of income do I want to develop this year? Um, how much money do I want to be putting away through dollar cost averaging every single month in my favorite companies and my favorite ETFs, right? So that I can grow my wealth and get to the point where at some point um, my wealth will be able to create enough passive income for me that I can have more time, more choices, and more freedom in my life. See, these are things you should be thinking about right now, right? You should be preparing for 2022, right? We don't want to go into 22 without a solid financial plan. Because guess what? If we don't plan, then guess what we do? We plan to fail, right? If we don't plan to succeed, we plan to fail. So we got a plan if, we've, if we're going to be successful here in 2022. Like I said, there are going to be a lot of opportunities. I'm certainly going to be making a ton of videos uh, walking you guys through some of the things that I believe are opportunities. That doesn't mean they're going to always pan out. I just told you about two opportunities I should have took advantage of in 2021 that I didn't, and I'm kicking myself. But you know, there are plenty other opportunities that I did take advantage of and I did extremely well. And I'll do a video about those things that I did um, invest in in 2021 and how they did. So I'll do a video on that in the future uh, here real soon. Well, all right, guys, I'm going to start rambling on. I just thought I'd make a quick video just to let you guys know I'm not perfect either. I make mistakes when it comes to my financial game plan. Sometimes I I pivot and deviate the wrong way and I should have went the other way. So, so hey, don't feel bad if you haven't hit everything you wanted to hit in 2021. Great news is you got an opportunity in 2022 to get back on track. So make sure you plan, right? Plan for success or you plan to fail, correct? All right, again, that Webull offer. Five free stocks, up to $8,300 in value. Put one penny in your new Webull brokerage account. We was going to give you those free stocks. Link down in the description box. Go get them free stocks. Go get that free money. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash the like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. 
And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.